Hello there, my name's Aaron Lidard. Welcome to the How of Sax. Okay, we've, we're going to deal with a crook. Here is my saxophone crook for my Yamaha Custom EX. Um, you, if you're not sure, I've said it before, it's crooked. Yeah, it's not straight pipe, it's a crooked pipe. So that's a member of it that's, that's, that's called the crook. It goes with a sax. Um, but I want to use just this and your embouchure and the mouthpiece and reed all together before we go on to the sax. Right. So, first thing, check out this. Ready? That's the key. It's a movable part. It's the first bit of engineering that, to think about with a sax. Um, that's called the octave key. When that's up, it makes you play higher notes. All right. This is quite delicate, and a lot of people, when they first start learning sax, damage this by holding this the wrong way. Um, try not to put your thumb underneath. Like, if I do that, you can see it's wedged in. Try not to push on this at all, because you will damage it. Okay, Try not to push on there at all. I would say put your thumb on the top there. Okay, Or, flip side, there. You see that? I'm not putting any pressure here because they're the strong points here and here. Um, one more thing to look at. Can you zoom right the way in and see just underneath there there's a little piece of metal which is a spring which keeps that closed. It's not just gravity keeping that closed. I'll prove that. Upside down it's still closed, right? That's because there's a little spring under there keeping that in position. Right. Okay. That's crook. No good on its own. Okay. Don't make sound. That's okay. So I'm going to put the mouthpiece on there. I've disassembled my mouthpiece because the setup I have, it's easier to get it on there without any reed on there. All right. So I'm going to hold this nicely like that. And if you'd like, you could wet this so you could put cork grease on it. If it's a new instrument, put cork grease on there and it will help it because sometimes if you're not careful you can actually rip this cork. The cork is from a cork tree um, and it's a special squidgy kind of um, wood that is perfect for holding the mouthpiece in place. So twist it on, very delicately twist it into place. Okay, um, leave about an inch or a centimetre or so there and then try and get that lined up so that the bottom is flat with this bottom. Okay. It's about there. Yep. Yeah. Okay, then I'm going to very quickly put the reed and the, the ligature in place. Always very important, just be really careful of that tip of the reed and that you put everything in the right place. That's pretty good. Have a look at that. I'll tighten it up first. You see that? Okay, that's our mouthpiece and crook set up, ready to go. Okay, so we've got the reed mouthpiece crook all in position, and now I want to practice the embouchure one more time. Okay, so I'm going to put this in my mouth and make a sound. Have a listen. Right, so it's a lower sound then, but it works, and I want you to do that as well. Just a little thing to know about is the longer the column of air that you before it escapes into the room, the lower the note. Okay, so that's why it's a lower note with the crook on than with the mouthpiece. One more listen. Okay, so. Set up your mouthpiece crook, use your embouchure, and get some sound out. 